Hey there, fellas. Thanks for coming to this branding meeting. I just want to figure some stuff branding out for this new for thing pirates. we're starting where we do mischief on the ocean. Hooray! I'm excited to be on a boat. I like being on boats. So you were in charge with coming up for a name for this whole thing. I'm excited to hear what you came up with. Oh, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, no, uh, uh, I was thinking we could call ourselves, um... Uh, <laughs> dessert on. mice. I don't like that. Hi, Rats. Ooh, now we're talking. Yeah. So this is pretty much like his uh, uh the company that names things type situation, but with pirates. Hey, now what about okay. clothing? Obviously, you all have some very good looking shirts on. They tie up with strings. They sure do. And I was thinking maybe scarves could come into play. And earrings. <laughs> scarves and earrings. That sounds fancy and dandy. <laughs> oh, wait, aren't we supposed to be scary? I mean, what's scarier right. than men wearing sassy things with confidence? No, I think he's right. We should have something kind of scary. We're going to be doing a bunch of vicious murders after all. Right. It's maybe our true. logo is a skull. Spooky skeletons are spooky. Not scary enough, I think. Maybe it's a skull, but it also has some bones laid across each other behind it decoratively. Yeah, no, that is actually really scary. What kind of psychopath <laughs> finds a skeleton and makes a centerpiece out of it? The dessert mice, that's who. No, we're going with the <laughs> other one. Okay. I have an idea to pitch as well. Let's hear it. Okay, hear me out on this one because it's a little nuts, but what if we... <laughs> oh! Oh my Gross. god, you okay? Uh, I think I'm okay. Maybe just cover that up. Yeah, let me just cover that up with this handy patch here. Well, wait a minute, <laughs> that looks really good. Should we all have those? Maybe we should. <laughs> Plus, that'll let us keep one eye prepared for the dark of the lower deck. Mine isn't that dark. No, I said right. deck. Oh, okay, yeah. That does sound smart. I mean, for those of us who still have two eyes, it's no not offense. That dark. Okay, now let's talk about what to do when one of us loses <laughs> a limb. Oh, who still have deck. Mine isn't that dark. No, I said deck. Oh, okay, yeah. That does sound smart. I mean, for those of us who still have two eyes, no offense. None taken. Okay, now let's talk about what to do when one of us loses a limb. Is that gonna happen a lot? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I have no doubt that a lot of us will be losing limbs. Oh. Well, if you lose a leg, you could just kind of shove a wooden peg down there, maybe. Nice, and if you lose a hand, you could put a little hook. What will that be used for? Hooking things. That would come in handy. I'm a big hooker. Hey, maybe we should put the letter that we say all the time. Why? That's a good option. I'm leaning more towards R. What about animals? We could have some little animal friends. Maybe parrots, parrots. and they can repeat our little pirate right. phrases. Maybe monkeys, pirate. too. Those are silly. Aren't monkeys and birds filled with diseases? Yeah, but I'm thinking we will be, too. Oh. <laughs> kind of like a signature disease that's associated with us. I was thinking scurvy. Okay. That works for me. This big hooker hates citrus. <laughs> so good, because that won't really be accessible to us. Uh, how about syphilis? Oh, my God. Who's Wait, this guy? what? Oh, I've seen this guy around. He's real weird and pervy. Maybe we could all do this thing where we with say, yo, earring. ho. I vote we make this guy walk off a wooden plank directly into the ocean. I like that idea. Yep. <laughs> Yo. Hi there, hello, oh. it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to <laughs> talk to you about Skull and Bones, the new open-world action-adventure pirate game from Ubisoft <laughs> that I cannot stop playing. So what? hey, did you know that being a pirate is fun and cool? That's what I've learned by playing Skull and Bones, and it's made me want to make my whole life pirate-themed, to be honest. See, in Skull and Bones, you get to customize your pirate and your ship, <laughs> which inspired me to paint a giant skull and crossbones onto the side of my spaceship. That okay. sends a clear message to other spacecrafts that I will be firing a cannon at them. <laughs> That's just what I do now. I'm a pirate now, you see. R, In space. Et cetera. Skull and Bones also lets me explore the vast seas and discover what? uncharted islands in an immersive open world really setting. Cool. So I've decided to do some real life exploring as well and fly out way past the safe zones that ground control set for me. I'll be fine, probably. And one thing I really love about Skull and Bones is the online multiplayer action that lets me team up with friends and pirates around the world What's and shared online like experiences and played? PvP battles. Hey, Flort Flap, you want to join my pirate squad? I don't know what that means. But I'm in. So hey, you can join in on the pirate fun right now oh, and download Skull and Bones today. Our matey. No, I think it's more like our matey. Our matey. <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> our matey. Well then, you hit all the highlights of being a pirate. You're gonna get scurvy. You're gonna have a hook for a hand. Did anybody else think of the movie Hook with Robin Williams? And uh, Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook. When I saw the 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 thumbnail for this video, not my video, not my reaction, the Ryan George video, uh, I, I, my first thought was Hook. Anytime I think of pirates, that's the first movie I go to normally for some reason. But and, you know, it's Peter Pan related. But Hook, not sure why. Not sure why I don't first think about Pirates of the Caribbean, but that's never the first thought. It's always Hook. I love though how they came up with the name Pirate with the the rat dancing on. A pie. Uh, he says dessert rat. Uh, but it's cool to see that he's kind of changed it up a little bit. It's not always going to be these guys in an office coming up with names for things. It could be back in the old days 
pirates figuring out how they're going to brand themselves. What could be next? Give me your theories in the comments below. What do you think could be next that he could do? So let's give him some ideas, maybe. Let's try. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. I had some fun with it. I had some good laughs. Hopefully, again, you did too. Uh, subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Comment below again. Theories on next ways he could go with this or just your favorite part. Let me know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.